19. Defense in the post, you have to stay on your toes. It's a two-step down there. Two-step to the high side. Step through, two-step on the baseline side. And you're seeing it on both ends for these two teams with two strong presence. Iowa went on a 13-2 run in the first quarter after trailing 5-0. Indiana countered back. And a foul will go against City Parish, sending Caitlin Clark to the floor. Marshall off the bounce, and that's two quick ones on Sydney Parish. And now already three in the quarter for Indiana. Pace of play has changed as well. And another turnover, the 10th on the Hawkeyes. Well, Indiana forces 16 and a half turnovers a game in league play. At this rate, they're going to have a heck of a lot more than that. And they've scored five points off of those 10 turnovers so far. Berger, late whistle comes in. She'll get two shots. All Big Ten, and she was the first team all Big Ten last year. It's as tough as nails, has some USA basketball experience, and she said she really gained some leadership qualities and tutelage with that USA basketball experience a couple summers ago. Sonato, yes. Her first points of the second quarter and just her second bucket of the game. Scally right back the other way. To disrupt Mackenzie Holmes' recovery to get to her. And no double team. Get it out she of your jokes. Hands. Just a, maybe five seasons ago now, four seasons ago now. But very fundamentally sound in the paint. And now they've got Hannah Stolke waiting in the wings. Absolutely. A freshman reigning. Gatorade player of the year in Iowa coming off the bench and three straight trips down the floor now Indiana getting to the foul line yeah they've gone right into the painted area 13th ranked Buckeyes trying to get revenge on Indiana catch that one 7 Eastern only on the Big Ten Network and the best scoring defense in the league defend without fouling Iowa tonight Stolke right into the chest of Garzone and the freshman is on the board for the Hawkeye. Iowa can maybe sit down inside and double her and crowd her space. Not looking to do that. Staying individually covered with Sonata water. Holmes gets it to go and the foul. Let me see what I can do when I get the <laughs> next touchdown in there and she got it. So now Two players for Indiana with two fouls. Two Iowa players with two fouls. Sonata will stay on the floor for Lisa Bluter. Well, that's the trust. That's the trust of the fifth-year player, Monica Sonano, who returned to the glee of Caitlin Clark. Stolke, a tough shot over the outstretched arms of Mackenzie Holmes. They're really excited about her prospects. I'm excited. Too. I'm excited, too. She is steady. Lots of contact, no call, and it's back-to-back -back buckets. But after January, you're not a freshman anymore. I mean, you've played enough games to be called almost a sophomore now. You see Grace Berger play that selfless style. I mean, everyone out here is a competitor, right? Yeah. But if you see that that ball is being... Here is Clark, no points in the quarter, and changes that with a step back rattling down. She knew she hadn't scored yet, and she needs to stay in her rhythm. See a little zone here this time from Iowa, a little 2-3. Clark dishes it off, and a Fulter puts it home. And just simply done, right? I think it's safe to say, Caitlin Clark's on triple-double watch. Yeah. Again tonight, 10 points, 4 rebounds, 6 assists. And she already has 9 triple-doubles. Reigning National Player of the Week and the front-runner for National Player of the Year. The only one that she's close to is Sabrina Unescu, who had 26 triple-doubles over her career at... Oregon. And, uh, she was top two last year to be top two in both categories in multiple seasons. Well, you love that. And those triple-double numbers, that's men's or women's.
Okay, so with double digits in scoring in this first half, she's now scored in double figures in 76 straight games. As more McNeil buries a three. And that is the fourth of the game for IU. Madison O'Grady into the game for Iowa, and she threads it down to Kate Martin. Somehow, Iowa just finds a way to dig a shot out of the mud and make the extra pass. I mean, they've done it with the extra passes in this first half. And another good feed that time. 11 assists now. Scouting can't finish. Moore McNeil gets it back for Indiana. Less than a minute to play in the first half. Parrish back on the floor with two fouls. Up ahead to Clark. Wiggles pass burger. What did we just see? What did we just see? Matt? Come on. That's called the blender. No, hey, I don't know. That's called the bender, the blender. <laughs> wow. Wow. Three-point Iowa lead. Holmes defended by O'Grady. Sonato on the bench with two for Iowa. A chance at the end one. Can you imagine just sitting there and not being 100% healthy and your team needs you and you can't do anything about it? Five seconds. Marshall. <laughs> Rebound, Berger. And we end the first half tied at 39. Have microphone, we'll call games. The sign I carry around. Got everything there for us, I think. Oh, yeah, 12. There you go.